Hi guys, it's Ben here from T-Rex Space Station. How's everyone doing? This is Outrun on the Sega Mega Drive. And I do really like games where you get to choose your soundtrack. Kind of like Super Hang On. I think we'll go for something relaxed sounding like Passing Breeze. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Now this is a bit of an experiment, really. Because, as you may or may not know, depending on whether you're on my Facebook or not, my laptop died this week. I mean, not just like had a blue screen of death and had a little hissy fit. I mean, it properly died, as in it turned off and there isn't a flicker of power. So I pretty much had to say goodbye to it. Um, I didn't back up my data, so I have lost a reasonable amount of stuff, including like my theme tune and things. But I'll be able to rip those things off the videos that I've already uploaded, I think. But nevertheless, bits of stuff have been lost. Um, which is always the way of these things. Now, it, it, it had been mine for about four years, three or four years. And that always seems to be the way with my computers. Oh god, I'm gonna crash. Now, down gear. I don't think I've ever had a computer that lasts more than about three or four years. Now, I don't know if that's because computers are unreliable, or if it's because I really... Oh crap. I really work them too hard. Um, and my computers do tend to be workhorses, you know, they get a lot of different things done. Lots of sound editing, lots of video editing, uh, presentations, work, and of course gaming. And so I guess they just get, yeah, quite badly <laughs> worn and torn, I suppose. But that's no excuse. I've been kind of thinking for a while about making the transition across to Max. I mean, my girlfriend Neve uses one, quite a lot of people at work use them, and I've heard a lot of good things about their reliability. And I've, you know, I've started to tire a bit of Windows recently. Um, I just kind of feel like there's a lot of issues with, oh crap, we've just crashed and got thrown out of the car. A lot of issues with, you know, blue screens of death, driver incompatibilities, registry edit problems, and, you know, after a few years, every single PC that I've had just seems to slow down and get clogged up, and of course there's all the malware and viruses and things, and I just thought, you know what, I think it's time for a change. Um, which is quite a scary thing to do, I must say after being a PC user for my entire adult life, and my youth actually, you get so used to things, everything's just under your skin, you know? You know where the buttons are, you know how to quickly flick between things, you know how to do everything. And in terms of video editing, another that's another thing, you know? I've been doing YouTube for over a year now, maybe a year and a half, coming up to two years or something. And you get stuck in your ways, you kind of, you know, know how to do stuff really quickly. And it's just, you know, second nature un under your fingertips and you can make things really fast. Now, you know, going across to Mac is scary because obviously I'm slowed down again and I'm having to learn things brand new. But, you know, I'm I'm pretty tech savvy. I'm sure it won't be too hard to figure out what's going on. And man, I suck at this game. Um, so yes, this is, I'm using iMovie. Completely new software to me. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to edit this together. Um, but hey, it seems really intuitive so far, the Mac, I must say. Just got it out of the box today, so absolutely brand new. And it's been very intuitive. Um, no, installing things is so quick. I had no idea how fast it was. You know, literally just dragging and dropping things across to the uh, applications folder. And that was a dismal effort. I am really bad at Outrun. This is one of those games where I feel I should be better at it because I think it's, you know, a lot. one of many people hold this game very highly. And um, I never really had it when I was younger, so I've only just been on the bandwagon recently. Let's see, let's put the, yeah, there we go, we'll put the difficulty down a little bit. And have another go. Um, let's try Splash Wave. Yeah, so for me this is all quite new, and I'm quite bad. I mean, I guess Super Hang On is a similar type of game, isn't it? Where you're kind of just racing against checkpoints, trying to get further rather than against other racers as such. And I'm pretty bloody awful at that. This doesn't even have a turbo button, so yeah, I'm really screwed. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a big transition period, getting used to everything on the Mac. Um, but I'm feeling really positive about it, and I think that it was the right decision to make. And hopefully it'll last me longer than my PCs have. I'm hoping for this computer to last me upwards of four years. Maybe five years. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, the thing is, in terms of the technical specs that you get, Obviously, you get much less for your money than you would if you were buying a PC. You could get much more RAM and higher processing speeds and probably a better graphics card, theoretically, for in a PC. But everything is so nicely gelled together. Everything is 
cohesive in the Mac environment and sure the specs aren't as high as they might be but I think that it's very fluid and I've noticed a big speed increase in terms of boot, you know, boot speed and everything like that. Those simple things already. Now part of that is this is my first computer with an SSD, steady, steady state drive, and that's obviously a massive difference in terms of your performance. And so, you know, part of it is just that fact. But, you know, I'm optimistic. I think that Mac are really doing some great things. And it syncs up really well with my other devices, my phone and stuff. Um, able to send messages from my computer, which is cool. Anyway, yeah, there's no point doing a review of the uh, MacBook Pro on here. You wanted to see some gameplay of OutRun, didn't you? I may actually do a, a vlog or a review of how I've settled in with the Mac for anyone else who's interested. Because I know there are quite a few people who've, who've been dabbling with the idea as well. Um, and it's it's there are things out there online. There are tutorials and there are videos and there are top tens, uh, top ten apps that you should get when you're starting out. But still, I think that it was still not really easy to find exactly how to settle in. There's always some trial and error. But maybe if I could make a video... Um, helping people, that would be a good thing to do. We'll see. It's one of those grand ideas that I have that I probably won't get around to doing. <laughs> Maybe in two weeks time I'll be like, I absolutely hate it, don't buy one. <laughs> but I doubt it though. Um, the only annoying thing is obviously the issue with software compatibility. Um, luckily my Elgato capture device and my Elgato software works right out of the box. Um, you know, transferred across really easily and most of my Steam games will, but not all of them. But annoyingly, there's no sort of fraps on, on Mac. It's other software. So it's just like, am I going to buy new stuff? You know, fork out double the cash to buy things on both operating systems? Or shall I use an emulator for Windows? I've not decided yet. That remains to be seen. But this video I'm going to edit with iMovie. So we'll see how it turns out. Let me know if you think it looks okay. I mean, I'm sure it will do. A lot of the learning curve with gaming capture is actually about your, you know, your, uh, your console output and your upscaler and your capture card. The computer end of it isn't so bad, I guess that depends on how you're editing it, I guess, but once you've found a solid way of getting a nice crisp signal, I think that that should be translatable, hopefully. Yeah, this game is beautiful, isn't it? It's a really nice experience. I really love the variety in the environments as you progress further and the fact that it's non-linear, you can choose different routes. I think that if you go left, that tends to be the easier route, or that's what I remember anyway. I've been trying to stay left because I'm awful at this. So it's a car with only two gears, so I think the idea is that you, when you need to slow down, you drop it to the low gear for, and brake a little bit for the hard corners, which <laughs> I'm evidently not managing to do since I've flown out of my car several times. All right, let's try and brake. There we are. They're quite hardcore, these two. They get flipped out of the car and dragged across the dirt and then just get back in for another drive. Now, there's a lot of great versions of this game, as you will probably know. Uh, I really like the look of some of the modern ones on the Xbox, Outrun 2 and things. Um, similar gaming premise, they've kept a lot of the core mechanics, but, you know, made it look nicer and added some cool extra features to it. So I might actually pick up the uh, Xbox, uh, original Xbox version if I can see it, to play on my uh, 360, because it looks really cool. I'm not sure if there are some Android versions for phones and things. Let's go left again. Oh, we're running out of time, three seconds. And all I've done is rambled endlessly about my new computer and shown you very little gameplay. Well, yeah, you've, you, know, you know what Outrun's like, don't you? I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.